Hey guys, jccorporation.net here with a review of the 13 inch MacBook Pro released in April 2010. This model right here has a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Dual Processor, 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a 250 gigabyte hard drive, a super drive, an NVIDIA GeForce 320M graphics processor with 256 megabytes of DDR3 shared with the main memory, a built-in EyeSight camera, a backlit keyboard, a mini display port with audio and this only works if the adapter supports it, a 10 hour battery, stereo speakers with a subwoofer, a built-in microphone, a built-in Airport Extreme Wi-Fi that's based on the 802.11n specification and backwards compatible with A, B, and G networks. This also includes a Bluetooth 2.1 plus enhanced data rate wireless adapter built-in, gigabit Ethernet, and it weighs uh, four and a half pounds and is less than an inch thick. So let's get started. As you can see, it's very thin. That's uh, the best part. That's my, the main reason I bought it was because of its thinness and its portability. So we open it up. You can see that gorgeous screen. Uh, the resolution for the 13 inch base model is 1280 by 800 and the first thing I notice this is my first Mac the first thing I notice is the speed uh, I have a desktop with a quad core processor and it pretty much keeps up with the desktop when I'm trying to multitask the 4 gigabytes uh, of RAM really help out when you when you're trying to multitask. Now, I got a question from X Beret about the graphics card. I preloaded this movie is 1080p Clash of the Titans. I'll let you see it play. It plays smooth with no stuttering. It's 1080p. As you can see, the glossy screen makes the colors really pop. The one drawback is if you're not in the most favorable lighting conditions, you do get a very harsh glare. But for me, that hasn't been a problem because of most time I use my computer inside, so it's not much of a problem. One thing I did notice about becoming a Mac OS X user. It's just how simple everything is. There's all the stuff you had to do to change stuff in Windows that you don't have to do that with Mac OS X. Like when you delete a program, you just slide the application to the trash can. There's no go to control panel and go to add or remove programs and keep clicking next, next, next. Yes, I want to uninstall. Another thing I noticed about this particular version of the MacBook Pro was its excellent battery life. I haven't seen the 10 hours that they're advertising, but I have seen around 7 or 8 hours of surf surfing the web, watching some videos. I also like the feel of the keyboard, the chiclet keyboard. Uh, I found it very easy to type on. 
and the addition of the large glass trackpad is great as you can see it's larger than most other trackpads on the market and it's also multi-touch another great thing that I like about the new MacBook Pro is the addition of audio support for the mini display port adapter which is right there this is great if you get an adapter a mini display port to HDMI adapter that supports audio such as this one this is a mini display port to HDMI adapter that I picked up for five bucks on eBay uh, I caution you when buying from eBay because I had another one that did not work with the audio I will show you the graphics part or the gaming part of the machine in part two and I'll also wait to post part two uh, just post in the comments any questions you have so I can put them in part two thanks for watching and make sure to check out jccorporation.net for all your electronic needs